welcome to my new blog post blog 14 and in this blog post i am going to discuss further about the stack bar charts but uh, in this lecture i am going to give you the information about using the filters so it will be a very basic concept about utilizing the filters in the stack bar chart so let's start like how we can utilize the filters so Whenever, uh, if you follow my red pointed uh, pointer over here on the screen, on the canvas, you will see that there are three uh, uh, panels that are coming in. So first panel is filters. Second one is the visualization. And the third one is the fields. So right now I'm just going to close down the visual, visualization and the fields and how we can actually create this uh, this kind of stack bar chart you can actually see my previous video about creating the stack bar charts so moving onward once you will create a stack bar chart with respect to the needed data sometimes when you will actually publish that stack bar chart user will be required to filter out the data or we would like to visualize the data with respect to particular filters that he would like to use to see the information so right now i have created two reports in within uh, within this uh, within this file and the first one actually contains the price and costing and the data is actually sliced and diced by the channel and country for the unit price and region and the country for the product cost now there is another report which actually contains the again slicing and dicing information uh, about the country and the region about the uh, about the order quantity and then there's a country and the product uh, with respect to the unit price so there are four visuals in total and let's see like why i have utilized this kind of information over here so let's start so when we talk about the filters, there are basically three types of filters. First one, first filter is basically the filter on a particular visual that we are utilizing. The second filter is basically the filter which is actually with respect to the report, right? Like the filter that can be applied on whole report. And then there is another filter, which is basically filter on all pages. So there, there, there could be multiple filters over here, which we can utilize to see the information. So uh, why, we, why do we need that? Let's see, let's start. So, when, uh, so first we need to see the filters on this visual. So filter on this visual means like the visuals that are which related to this visual not with respect to any other visual that is present in a certain report or in a certain dashboard it also means like when you will actually sort and uh, filter out the data it will not affect the data representation of the second uh, uh, visual uh, visual for example in this case if i would like to filter out the data with respect to channel and country uh in the filtration tab so i will go to the filters on the visual and then i will click on the channel and i will choose the internet now you see that the filter is not changed the filter has not changed the presentation of the second visual right so they are not uh uh, they are not related to each other with respect to the filters on the certain visual. Now, if I move towards another visual, like the second filter, second visual, and I click on it. Now, if I click on the region, and I click on Canada. So you can see that I have sliced and diced information with respect to the Canada for the total product cost by region and country. So this visual has no effect with respect to the filter uh, that is showcasing the data about the unit price. 
now what if i would like to see i like i would i would like to filter out the data with respect to the uh like i would like to filter a data on a certain dimension and it may impact on it it should have impact on both filters so for that i will click anywhere on the report and then i will have a filters on this page option one 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 uh, first one is filter on this visual which is actually the selected fil filter but if i click and select the page i will get the filters on this page right now i have added the country so before moving on towards that one and i just only need to remove all the pre selected filters right now so i have removed them now i have the country wise data i can filter out the data with respect to the country and it will impact both visuals so for example i will click on this one and i select cross so right now i am actually having the information with respect to the internet reseller and the france itself but uh, sorry total product cost by region and country but the thing is like right now the data that is being shown over here is with respect to dimension of country and in from the country i have selected france so it has by fact if it has automatically uh, filter out the data in both visuals for uh, with respect to the country so you can use any dimension on a page level in order to filter out the data for all the visuals that are currently present in that uh certain visual but the, uh, you also need to remember that the certain dimension should be present in all uh in all uh, visuals as well like right now the country is present in both so if i'll have any other uh, for example dimension over here instead of country so you can't you will not see the you will not see the impact now there is another filter which i must say like uh, filter on a global level which is the third level filter and it is basically uh, this is uh, this is the filter which is, which is basically filters on all pages right now there is no nothing over here and in order to see the impact i have added another report as well and it contains uh, two visuals order quantity uh, by country and region and unit price by country and product so if i click on these two filters both visuals have their own uh, set of filtrations but right now there is no filters on this page and there is no filters on all pages so let's assume since i have a common at uh, common dimension among all the filters i say the country i will add the country in this uh, uh filtration so i will select the country and i will select the country in the filter on all pages so unfortunately i have added this one uh, geographic so let me add filters on this page so i have added uh, sorry so let me add filter on all pages so here it is so i have created a filter with respect to country on the all pages so right now if i go to the price and cost uh my uh, currently the uh, all my filters are selected with respect to the current page and uh, my personal filters are also working so right now there is a, there is a raw information so again i would like to uh, filter out the data with respect to a certain country now so from Aust when i will click on the australia right so it has basically filter out the data with respect to the australia for the order quantity and for the unit price but what will happen to the price and cost so let's see that one as well so here the data is automatically segregated with respect to the australia uh, coming as the filter as a global filter 
so you can actually introduce as many as filter on all pages options in your dashboards and they will be interconnected with each other so the thing is and uh, this is this actually showcases you the power of the pi like how you can actually uh, interconnect the various filters as well and the impact on them so it will give you a very good user experience with respect to the user and it will give them an amicable and very uh, happy experience as well because by utilizing this they can visualize their uh, requirement on a single click uh, with respect to the filter so this is the very basic level of the filtration process that is introduced by the power bi in further lectures i will also elaborate more complex things related to the basic filtering and the advanced filterings so uh, wait for my next block for this but for this block uh, i hope so you have understood the concept of the filters uh, and please do not forget to like subscribe and share my youtube channel yasser fazal and before moving on uh, there's an announcement as well like i have uh, uploaded this pbix file for your uh, a utilization on the as a blog for understanding the stack bar chart on my github uh, repository so you can actually utilize that information as well so you can actually also you can download it